Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to day two of the 2018 International Red and White Show. I'm Kathleen O'Keefe. We'll be announcing the show for you today, along with the wonderful assistance of Karen Knutson Wheatley. Now in the ring is our Melkin Yearling class. First place award here is presented by Crestbrook Holstein's in Jersey's of Fond du Lac. The best utter rosette presented by the Cattle Connection, Amory, Wisconsin. And the junior award is presented by Karakesh Holsteins, Ryan and Karen Griffin, Thief River Falls, Minnesota. If you turn your attention to the International Red and White Show Ring, Judge Weeks has completed his placings in our Melkin Yearling class. Placing third in the class is entry 2438, Apple Partners Aisha Red, exhibited by Kingsway Farms, Hastings, Ontario. Second in the class, winning our Bread and Owned Award is entry 2432. Ruan D.B. Shar 60985 Red, exhibited by Stephen and Patrick Maddox of Riverdale, California. Second in the class, and also second junior, is entry 2444, Flower Brook Coral Red, exhibited by Caleb Cole and Carter Cruzy of Dyersville, Iowa. Winning the class, also named Best Utter and also First Junior, is entry 2443, Ms. AOL Diamondback Raspberry Red, exhibited by Jaden Kennedy, Caroline, and Andrew Kimball of Wyndham, Maine. Congratulations. Judge Weeks, your comments. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's an honor to be back here this morning to finish off the cow portion of the show, and I think we start with an extremely nice classic cow is all the way down the line. For us, an easy winner, a beautiful balanced cow, quality dairy with a beautiful mammary system, and she walks out on a beautiful set of feet and legs. She goes over the cow in second here today, uh, just, just on quality, a half that's more feminine up through her head and neck, a little longer, crisper up through the crest of her neck, a little cleaner, flatter of her bone, and a half that's just got a little more volume to that rear udder today than the beautiful heifer that follows out in second. The second heifer, she uses her advantage over the third heifer today in her length of frame. A heifer that's just a little sharper up in her shoulder region, a little cleaner, crisper throughout today than the heifer that follows out in third. The third heifer, 
goes over the fourth effort today. She's just a little freer moving on her feet and legs today. She's a little deeper of her rear seam today than the heifer that comes out in fourth. The fourth heifer, an extreme heifer, long framed dairy heifer. She goes over the heifer in fifth today. She's just so much longer of her frame. She's harder of her top, stronger of her loin today than the heifer that we have that follows out next in, in sixth place. Congratulations, beautiful class of heifers.